Welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a productive week. I sure did. So it's like the first week in a while that I've actually been able to, or that I'm going to actually be able to show you a completed project that I did in the week. So really happy about that. Um, so let's go get right into it. This is the pattern. It's called the Diagonal Knit Dishcloth Pattern. It's very, very similar, very similar to Grandma's Favorite Dishcloth. I will put the link in below. This is a great pattern. I really liked it. Uh, the variation that it has from from uh, grandma's favorite dishcloth is that it uses a three stitch border instead of a two stitch border that's pretty much it there's very little variation I didn't it was very simple it happened it, you know I was able to get through it pretty quickly I worked on it every day the week at work for just you know 15 10 minutes here and there and I was able to complete it on Thursday so I was pretty happy and then on Friday I started another one let me go on and pull let me go on and pull that out <laughs> We've already talked about what kind of yarn I've used, what kind of yarn this is um, in a previous video. It is, I think it's going to be the Peaches and Cream Cotton 100% Made in the United States. I think I bought this um, from Amazon online uh, along with another, another one and I think we talked about that already. So I won't really go into detail about that uh, yarn. Here's my progress on this dishcloth that I started on Friday. So I got a lot done with it. And... This is the completed one. It's a nice size. So this is going to be a baby shower gift uh, that I'm doing for my personal trainer. So um, you, I, I'd like to, I like to give you know personalized gifts, and I think that most of us who are crafters uh, really enjoy being able to give uh, something thoughtful like this. To me, this is super thoughtful because. Um, I made it with my own hands and I really, you know, you, I don't know about you, but for me, when I'm crocheting or knitting or creating anything for someone, I think about that person the whole time and it's like I'm infusing a little bit of love into the gift that I'm giving. So even though it's a lowly dish washcloth or a washcloth nonetheless, it still, I hope, will be cherished and not cherished so much that she doesn't use it though. We will talk to her about that. So that is the project that I actually completed this week. Yay! I'll put that down. The next project I started working on is, it's fall here in Alaska. It is fall here in Alaska, finally. The leaves have turned yellow. Well, not all of them. In our yard, we have Canadian red um, cherry trees and they went, the leaves went and turned a deep, deep red color. It's really interesting. So they're called choke cherries. But nonetheless, the foliage has changed and it's absolutely beautiful. And I found this German yarn in my stash and I said, oh, I can knit a beanie with this. This is, oh gosh, I already, let me get the ball band because I don't remember what, what, what the blend is. Okay, so I, have the ball, so I have the ball band here and I believe it is German because the, um, the language on here looks German to me and I lived in Germany for a tiny bit of time. I don't know where it says made, where is it made? Anyway, the name of the yarn is called SMC Boston oh yes it does say made in Germany so oh I'm sorry it says made in Turkey and then Germany's on there too so I have no idea where this was made <laughs> so maybe the wool comes from Turkey and the yarn was actually processed in Germany that sounds about right but anyway this is a wool superwash 30% and 70% acrylic. So it's super warm, and as you can tell, it's super bright. It's neon, neon green. And I got this far in, in crocheting a beanie, um, and then I realized that I needed a much larger hook than what I was using. So I'm gonna tear it back. But I really, how pretty is this color? I mean, it's really nice, so I can't wait to get the correct size hook. I didn't I don't have a hook. My crochet collect my crochet hook collection is hodgepodge uh, pretty much donated to me. As far as crafting, that's all I've done this week. So past projects finished. This is a petal washcloth. I think I talked to you about this in a previous video and I showed you a black one. Um, this has more points though. I can't remember um, I know that there were two different patterns. This is also as you can tell much larger than the other one and I will share with the I have the pattern in Ravelry so I will find the pattern link and I'll share that with you this is really great this yarn is a cotton yarn it is a Christmas it's Bernat 
and um, I bought it at Walmart and it is lovely it's perfect absolutely perfect to put a candle just imagine like this was a candle you know, isn't that wouldn't that be pretty can you see it yes so yeah that is really pretty you put a candle in the center of that Christmas time you know um, gorgeous absolutely gorgeous like a, or you could like if you're Catholic and you do the advent candle you could put like a mini wreath here and then have your candles I mean it would be so pretty so definitely I will definitely share that with you and I finished that a few um, couple years back uh, and then I have this thing back here behind me this is not decoration for the sofa it's a project that I had done and there you are well I mean it's it's there you go there's the so <laughs> this project it smells really good I just washed it that's the reason why I wanted to share it with you I washed it and it's wonderful that is made out of bed sheets I took old bed sheets that you know had gone worn and decided that I was going to crochet them so I ripped them into strips I didn't use a, uh, a fabric cutter or anything I wanted that those frayed edges I wanted you know I wanted that look um, so I ripped them into about an inch to an inch and a half strips, just tearing and tearing, which is kind of therapeutic. Uh, but have a pair of scissors in, on hand because all those little threads kind of turn into knots after a while. So then after I ripped it into strips, then I tied them all together and made a giant ball and just went to town with this. This uh, was one full sheet, the light colored, was one full size sheet. And then the, this right here was just um, where I added another full-size sheet I didn't obviously didn't finish the other full-size sheet I just wanted to add some some color to it just to be I guess artistic you know to break up all that that way anyway it went it's gone in our bathroom it's 100% cotton bed sheets so it's very absorbent and um, so I absolutely love it it's in our, you know, I have it in our bathroom so right out of our shower stall I get to step onto that that's lovely and it's it's perfect you know I feel like I've uh, contributed to our household by saving a little money on not buying a $10 bath mat. <laughs> so there's that. Another couple of purchases that have nothing to do with crafting are, I got the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for $19.99. Uh, Nintendo does that. They will have a title out and they'll have it you know, for like you know 50 bucks. And then um, after about two years, it goes down. And this is now $20, $20 $19.99 on Amazon. And I'm um, looking forward to playing it. I love platformer games, especially the Mario. I have so many. I'll have to show you my collection sometime. So I have so many uh, of that world, of the Mario world, and Zelda. I love Zelda as well. Then I got board game. This is called Zombie Dice. So just in time for Halloween, that's coming up. Um, I'm looking forward to playing this. My husband's coming home from deployment in just a few weeks, just in time for Halloween. And we've got several board games that we ordered, but this one. This is going to be super fun. This is like a half an hour long game, and I'm really looking forward to playing it. Then, I got this on Friday. It's a Vera, a Vera Bradley um, wristlet, so you can take off the you can take off the shoulder strap and just kind of hang this. I, I don't have my wallet right now, but I usually have I have a fossil wallet that has my car keys on it, and that's really all that I carry. I don't carry a purse. And so this will be perfect. I'm gonna take the shoulder strap off and just have the wristlet, and I'm gonna connect my keys just like I did with the uh, the fossil wallet. I'm connect my keys to where the wristlet um, connects. And then you know, I j never ever will lose my keys, and never will ever leave my wallet. They'll always be together. My problem is that I'm always carrying my backpack, and I don't like rooting around or taking my entire backpack into the grocery store when I'm going grocery shopping or something. I like that I can just grab a wallet and go. And this is such a cute cute and it fits my my cell phone fits in here perfect I have it I iPhone 6 plus and it fits in here perfectly I mean like it was made for it and then and I actually think it was made for it because on Vera, on Vera Bradley's website it shows an iPhone 6 inside of the purse and so this is where I will put you know my um, my ID and my credit cards and cash will go there so it's great change can go in there I was kind of disappointed they didn't put the change purse on the outside I don't want to have to open up my purse every time I want to get change, um, and I'm used to having a wallet with the with the change purse on the outside. So that's the only design, in my opinion, design flaw that they have. But this is a fun, a fun little purse, and if I did want to wear the strap, which I don't know if I would ever want to wear a strap, the strap is actually quite long. I have it, you know, I have it doubled, 
the strap is quite long and I guess it will go straight across your body and you'd have this tiny little wallet hanging off the side of your hip. Very cute. I love it. Anyway, that's it. I have nothing else to share with you. I hope you had a good week. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.